More and more American fast food chains are serving up those meatless options. KFC, known worldwide for its chicken, is the first to test Beyond Meat's plant-based chicken. So far at only one restaurant, though, customers can order it as either boneless wings or chicken nuggets. Fake meat is also offered at Burger King with their new Impossible Burger, as well as McDonald's and Dunkin'. So clearly a growing trend in plant alternatives. Let's take a look at this from a health and dietary perspective as well as an environmental one. I'm joined now by Jane Velez Mitchell. She's the founder and content editor of Jane Unchained, an animal rights and vegan related news platform. Jane, welcome to the program. What do you think is behind this craze of these uh, meatless options? Why now? Compassion and evolution, and we're running out of time. You've been talking about it. The fires in the Amazon, that's being caused largely by cattle ranchers and farmers clearing land for cattle or to grow food to feed farm animals. People don't realize that more than 70% of all soy is fed to farm animals. So essentially, and I outline this in a new documentary I just launched on Amazon Prime called Countdown to Year Zero. Check it out. We are giving planet Earth a buzz cut so that we can grow crops, not to feed people. People are dying of starvation and malnutrition, but to fatten up farm animals to fatten up pigs and cows and chickens and turkeys and okay. lambs. Jane, but let's talk about the scale we're talking about here. The meatless meat industry, based on the research that I did, only makes up less than 1% of the product volume of the meat industry. Is that enough to make the kind of dent you're talking about? Look, when we first started using cell phones, not everybody had them. Now everybody does. On the way here, I took the liberty of there it is, whipping out a Beyond Meat burger from my fridge. Let me tell you something, it looks like meat, it smells like meat, it tastes like meat. The only thing that's missing is the suffering and the climate change and the human world hunger. If you can go through life causing less suffering to yourself, to the environment and to animals, why wouldn't you? It's a no-brainer. The smart money is starting to realize this. That's why the Beyond Meat initial public offering has been the most successful IPO on the stock market since the 2008 financial crisis. Everybody, the smart money is starting to realize what we're doing by killing 70 billion. The estimates are anywhere from 56 billion to 70 billion. Some people say it's more than that. Farm animals every year who are just like our dogs and cats. It's madness. And you know what's driving it? What's driving it are the young people who are not as brainwashed and conditioned by traditional media. They're on social media. They're on their phones. They're seeing the pig gestation crates. They're seeing the vigils, which are based out of Canada, the visionary Anita Crines of the Save Movement, holding a vigil outside every slaughterhouse. Let, let me ask you about the nutritional value. Are we absolutely 100% positive that this stuff is good for us to eat? Let me tell you something. The fact that it's not meat makes it a lot healthier. A lot of people don't talk about the fact that processed meat, we're talking hot dogs, uh, sausages, bacon, it has been determined to be cancer causing, not by me, but by the World Health Organization. I urge everybody, look it up. Processed meat, which is how most people eat a lot of meat, causes cancer, okay? So just the fact that it's not meat makes it healthier. Additionally, you look at any vegan product, okay? This is the Beyond Meat, okay? Zero cholesterol. You can check it out right here. Why? Because there's no animal products in it. Animals produce cholesterol. We're animals. We produce our own cholesterol. And then when we eat animals and animal byproducts like eggs and dairy, we get too much cholesterol, that clogs the arteries, it leads to heart disease. Heart disease is killing one out of every four people. So every time you hear a siren, usually it's not a fire, it's somebody keeling over from a heart attack from eating too much meat and dairy. I don't even say meat anymore. I try to say what it really is, dead animals. Jane. Let's get real about what we're doing here. We are killing billions of animals for no reason. In fact, it's killing us and we're running out of time. Oh. The Amazon is on fire. We've got to leave it there. Clearly, Jane Velez Mitchell feels very strongly and passionate about this issue. Jane, thank you.